Hey everybody, I got another book. So I got Creating Stylized Animals, How to Design Compelling Real Imaginary Animal Characters, once again by 3D Total Publishing. I in no way am sponsored by them. If they wanted to sponsor me, that'd be great, but I doubt that's going to happen. Um, so this is, again, similar to their character design book um, that I showed earlier, and also their children's book um, illustration, How to Be a Children's Book Illustrator. So this book but it's focused on animals. Okay, so you have multiple illustrators who are handling different animal characters and how they evolve and um, bring them to life. So, really quick breeze through. What I like about the book so far, and I'll be honest, I've just like quickly been like going through it and because I'm not doing technically much with animal characters on my book project, I just kind of got it because I just really love animal characters. Um, you know, shape language, ex creating expressions, that's in there. My favorite part of the book is, let's talk about when they do these characters that they have a specific illustrator handle it and how they ac actually like do their research and then they'll go ahead and they'll start exploring to a final design. So they'll go from like a more realistic option to making it more like anthropomorphic animal character and and then they'll do it more than once too which was pretty cool um gives you some ideation which is great i always like doing that thumbnailing but it, it gives you several examples what i would say is like i wanted more <laughs> i always wanted more i was like oh man could they have had more illustrators and how they handle these characters that would have been really cool because I felt like oh I just want more who knows maybe they'll come out with a part two in the back they have some project ideas with different personalities habitats which is great you know you could probably you know play a little game with these and you know randomly close your eyes and pick one you know that kind of thing um, that would be fun if you were teaching a class like online and you had students and you wanted to randomize it, they have these online like randomizing game things that if you put the information in, it'll like um, whenever you spin it, you get a get a result. So you could do that with your students. That would be kind of fun. But I really like the fact that you know, here's all the contributors. Let's see. They have more books as well, which is pretty cool. But yeah, it, a lot of great content. I mean, definitely a lot of great information. And I definitely want to play around more with my characters. You know, I realized after seeing this, like, probably I don't do a good job. Like, may, what I, you know, had heard in the past, like, with my characters. Like, oh, when I'd have char characters that were the same kind of animal, they look too much the same. So this will help solve that. So when I'm having, like... You know, see, two different bats, but they're different, you know? And I need to think about that because shape, language, when I was just playing around for myself, um, I'll have to dig it out. But I did um, some owls, and I was just thinking about what happens when you change the shape of something and you play around with it in that manner, and how does that alter the shape of things, like the character itself, when you have different shape language. If I find the sheet, I'll bring it back out. But anyways, it really does. It changes the personality of the character inherently by if it's shorter or is it taller and thinner, you know, what kind of shapes you're using in it. But those are things to consider when you're doing like anthropomorphic characters and or just animals that are supposed to be real. <laughs> so both of which I like doing. Um, so anyways, uh, this book, I'll put a link in the description box so you can see where I got it. I, I, believe I bought it off of Amazon, got it really quickly, and the pricing was uh, maybe around 30 could have been less, but I'll post it in the description box. So I hope this helps anybody who's interested in creating drawings of animals. Thanks for watching!